I'm glad you're here. Come in. Sit down. I want to show you what we've got here. It's amazing. Welcome back to Keep On Collecting. Glad you could join me. A parcel's just rocked up. Literally, you've seen it. DHL delivered something from Mattel Creations. Now, I ordered a bunch of new items from Mattel Creations on the 22nd of May. So we're, we're looking at probably about 10 days. And there's enough for Andrew and I. Um, however, just one item has shown up. But it's a very cool item and I need to really show you because I think this is one of the first to be delivered in Australia. I'm just going out on a limb here and just saying could be. So it's very exciting. Let's turn the camera around and get into this box. Alright. <clears throat> Let's open this up. Who knows if we've opened up with it. Get rid of some bubble wrap. And look what we have here. Oh my god got it oh, it's the collector oh my god I can't believe this cartoon collection Skeletor's evil airship the collector what so here we are look at it cartoon collection because yes this appeared in the filmation masters of the universe from the 80s. While you were sleeping, I finished my greatest creation, the Collector. Let's spin this around. This is the side we saw uh, when we first pulled it out. So you can see a lot of these cartoon collection. I mean, all of mine is still on card, actually. I'm going to have to open up a couple so I can get them into collector so you can see a couple of figures in there so yep this is going to open up i love the artwork it's uh we've got snake mountain in the background i know i would say that's probably the toy they're just so good at their dioramas all right this is the top of the box so it just shows that you can fit three figures in there you can grab a figure and of course you have some blast effects in there all right Let's have a look at the side angles. One side angle has She-Ra. Wow. I did not expect that. The other side is just a wrap around from the front. You can see the collector over there and it wraps around to the other side here. I mean, just that artwork. Once again, the artwork, oh, there's Castle Grayskull. We have Point Dread. The beautiful pinky purple sky of Eternia. You can see it just comes in a cardboard box and I think it's just held down maybe from a few few plastic straps. You can see this part will go on the top here. And once in, it'll never come out. And this will open up. So let's pull it out of its cardboard box. All right, let's have a look what's inside. We've got the fins that I will clip into the top here. Let's see what's in here. Oh my God, look at that. So it opens up. And oh, there's right, no acrylic stand for it. I think this will be something that maybe goes in here that, that Skeletor, it'll probably plug into here and Skeletor will have a look at it. So let's have a look. Completely, utterly wrong. It's the blast effects. So there's no, okay, no acrylic stand. Um, I'm not sure what that is supposed to hold in here. That's that's missing as well. Well, there's nothing there. For two. All right. So let's have a look at the dash. So there's no stickers. This does not move. And there's a. Uh, so we don't have any detail on the dash. We go that's a bit better so we don't have any detail on the dash we don't have any movement from these knobs here <laughs> and then uh our merman's still looking at us but this goes up and down now merman i don't know if he's going to let go of that but um yeah so you can see that this is adjustable and it goes up fairway let's have a look 
All right, so come back a bit. So that goes up there, come all the way down to more their lap. So there's a good range of movement in the steering column here. So that is the detail. Let's have a look at where Skeletal sitting. What's he looking at? Not a great deal. He's just sitting in there in his gold throne. <laughs> Some good detail on that. Just a plain, just a plain gold plastic chair for Skeletal, but still pretty cool. It's got the the bone motif on it. And that's that's pretty cool. Just those little details. <laughs> Let's compare some other action figures. So let's compare Origins line. We have Fisto here. Let's see if he can get in. Lovely. He's a very easy to put in there. <laughs> well, they're the same bodies, right? So they're not going to um, be too problematic, the old Origins figures. So let's pull him out. All right, now for the ultimate test. Let's try a vintage Masters figure. Uh, we have Stinkor. Let's hope he doesn't stink up the vehicle too much. <laughs> yep, he's given us the claw up. I love it. A vintage figure fits. This is just awesome. So let's have a look at these blast effects. You can just see a hole in the middle of the claw there, and they, they basically just go in there. Simple as... All right, on this side, so this these extend, these claws, as you can see, they come out. There's no movement in this arm here. It's just in a static position. But this claw will grab a good guy. So let's try that on uh, Fisto. <laughs> Fisto is in there good and proper. He's not like super tight in there. He just slides in nice and um, firm. He can come out quite easily. So if I start tipping him up the other way, will he fall? Will he fall? No. So he's, he's stuck in there decently, um, but not too firm, firmly where you're going to break anything. So that's well designed. I like it. Just out of interest, I found a spare stand. I, I'm not sure what this is from. I think I bought it in a loose lot. So it fits in there perfectly. So I can display this collector on a stand. <laughs> Sometimes these extras you buy do come in handy. All right, so is the collector easy to open? It is. So just under the, the nose, there's a gap, and you can basically, you push on this part and pull on the base, and it opens. Voila. Looks like we have three volunteers to test out collector. And here they are. All sitting in there tight and snug. They're, I guess with these figures, they um, it's a little bit harder with their legs to sit down. You've got to be a little bit careful because, as we know, these figures have pop-off bodies. But um, I think I haven't closed the top yet, actually. But they look pretty cool just sitting in there. Okay, let's see if we can close this. That's amazing. It works. So it has a yeah, it has a bit of weight to it actually. It's a it's a heavy vehicle. The plastic does it feels like a bit of a strong plastic. Even when you're pulling this up, like that feels like a that feels like a good sturdy plastic. Like that moves a little bit. It's got a bit of give, and that stays up lovely. Look at that, and the figures just sit in there, <laughs> amazing. Although I've skewiffed Merman's leg a little bit, but uh, yeah, he'll be all right. He's pretty resilient, Merman. Oh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> Let's go and take it for a test drive outside. test drive it went well <laughs> ah some fine colors <laughs>
really enjoyed this vehicle. Uh, and I've just figured out the name is Collector. I think if Keep On Collecting had a vehicle, <laughs> I think we'd have to call it Collector. <laughs> just collects things like we do. Love it. Um, does it have a few, is it perfect? No, but it's a toy. It, I don't understand the no stand. Like I just, it's got the hole there ready for the stand. Yeah, just give us a stand so it can be displayed properly. Uh, but it sits lovely just flat on the ground as well. So it's not, not a massive, massive thing. It's a, a little, a, a tad shiny. Probably could have a bit of a matte finish, but you know what? Like I think if this was given to us in the 80s, we wouldn't have cared. Let's face it. It's a toy. You throw three figures in it. You fly it around your bedroom, have a blooming good time. And it's just, you know, it's just what, you know, let's pretend we're kids. We're going to love it. <laughs> so... Sure, we can sit here as collectors and, you know, go, oh, these things are wrong with it. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I do like this. But um, in the end of the day, it's just a toy. Let's be, let's appreciate that Mattel are giving it to us. Um, you know, it's affordable. Like, be, you know, just be gracious that you can afford, you can afford these things, right? Like, it's, not everyone can afford these toys. For Australians, it's probably about uh, just shy of $100. Um, that's fine, you know. Uh, let me know what you think in the uh, in the comments. Like, do you like it? Do you think it like are uh, my you know little things a bit petty or yeah? Do you love it like I do? Just remember, it's a toy. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for spending some time with me, uh, showing you off this amazing little toy that we've got. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're still available on Mattel Creations. Go check it out. Maybe I'll just you know, put it up around me somewhere. But remember, just to get into your toy rooms, go and enjoy, get in there and enjoy this amazing hobby that we have and enjoy these toys that we can get. And, uh, you know, take care of yourselves out there. Take care of your families and stay safe. And as Andrew and I always say, keep on collecting your Motu figures and vehicles. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. <laughs>